Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018. And it is time for the English Community Shield against Chelsea at Wembley. So this will be the first game we'll have done. I got the message regarding the... In terms of the first episode where I had the obviously the inter-squad friendly. And apparently the, the audio on that was a bit loud. I had my computer muted because it caught me off guard. The first time I tried to play a game. So, anyway, we'll see. That should all be rectified now. I've put the volume way down low because obviously random crowd noises are not the most the best thing you could have. The most best thing. So, we're going to be going with a 4 4 1 1. Um, I, well, yeah, the team are not very familiar. It's a tactic that I uh, like to use. They're probably more familiar with three at the back at this point, I would have thought. So. I'm going to go for the probably the strongest team I can put out, I would have thought. That's usually the best way to go about it. So, we're going to give Maxime Lopez a get. Oh, should he play? Or should he be playing attacking? Advanced playmaker. Yeah, okay. And we'll have Shaka. And Ramsey, I'm going to have him as a deep-lying defensive playmaker. Ramsey's going to be what, a ball winner. Deep-lying support. Okie coke. <clears throat> and we'll go with Sanchez on the left. No, I thought Sanchez played on the left. Oh, okay, I see, because he is actually out of position. Never mind. And we'll have a Wobie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not really. Obviously, I think it's because those guys want to play a bit further forward. And we're going to have Poacher. I'm going to have Andre Lacazette playing. Oh, complete forward. Fair enough. So, we'll just pick players to go on the bench. Stick Meza on the bench. Actually, I about run out of players. So... <laughs> Who else we got fit Cochlem? Alright, cool. There we go. So Oh the familiarity has gone up now. I've actually started putting players into into the the team. We will go for control. Flexible. Yep, that's fine. I don't think there's much else really to do here. Reduce. Don't know what that's all about. But I'm fairly happy with that. Andrew Lack, oh, sorry, we've been Andrew Lack is there. Yep, fine. Maxime's not got himself a number yet. I'm give him number 15. Danielson's old number. For those of you that want to bring back those memories, if you are an Arsenal fan. Oh, yeah, it's coming out of my. One second. You probably see all this, actually, which is quite interesting. Oh, no, not that one. No, oh, yeah, it is that one. Oh, it's still set to come out of the speakers. That's a bit annoying. Oh, well, we'll just have no sound for this one. I'm so bad at this. Right, uh, what do I want to do? So, I've not gone through this before. So, dressing room. This is... What? 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 Set opposition instructions. Ooh, okay. Not to hold back when tackling Fabregas. That seems a little bit... A bit harsh, but okay, no, no worries. Uh, Pedro obviously needs closing down. We will type mark uh, Maratta. Show these two onto their weak foot. I think that's really about it, isn't it? I suppose we'll go hard on and Kante, and Golo Kante as well. And close down him. Lovely. Right, so what we're going to say for the team talk, it's pretty much all the same as always. Um, all the best out there today, have fun. Fans have been fantastic. Yeah, there's no, you know, we don't have any, there's no reason really to say anything like that. 
Hand over to the assistant. I don't know what the assistant's going to say. His little bit. Uh, a few individual team talks. Alright, that's cool. So, on to the tunnel. Oh, we've got a bit of interview before, which is nice. Although, well, we had that in the previous games, but not as, as such. How much of a boost is Geordi Alaba's absence? Well, hmm. You don't really ever know, do you? So, we should have the lineups come up now, which will be quite nice. Oh, no. No lineups. Just straight into the game. <laughs> Fair enough. So, none of this stuff I've tweaked around with as of yet. But I will be doing over the course. Um, just seeing what each of these different bits do. Well, I should really be watching the game. So, they're just obviously quick change bits. Jigging me bobs. Updates, nothing really on there to talk about. Yeah, everything is going as you would expect at the first 10 minutes of a glorified friendly match. Oh, well, connecting with too many our crosses. Well, hmm. Probably shouldn't be putting many crosses in, to be fair. Oh, the midfield is outnumbered by Chelsea's midfield. Well, doesn't surprise me. They've got a lot more in midfield than we do. I think I'm on key again rather than extended. I'm going to put it over to extended. Just so we get to see a little bit more of what's going on. There we go. Off. Well, we just missed Alexis Skin in that player, but I'm sure it was beautiful. And um, that must have been a shot rather than a cross or a cross, cross come shot. Oh, well, Chelsea are absolutely away with one bad ball. As you would expect. Who we got on the bench? Oh, a fair few youngsters on the bench, actually, which is nice to see. Whereas mine is just literally the first team. <laughs> um, Lopez hasn't done... No, actually, to be fair, there's not really much to report. It's all fairly... Well, it looks fairly drab, to be fair, this game so far. I think Kalashnach is going to get booked. By the looks of this. Yep. Oh well, two apiece, so we're <laughs> pretty much dead even on everything. Chelsea have had a couple more shots, but in the grand scheme of things. Wow, it's so poor. That was really poor. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was worse. <laughs> oh, Williams done well there, to be fair. I think Chelsea are going to get themselves a little attack going here. Morata, uh, that's comfortable for check really in the end. Oh, Lacazette could be who we got. Oh, I don't know if actually if. Oh, well, we didn't actually get one there, but I don't know if he's actually he's actually quick or not. I don't think that's really his game personally, but anyway, that was in the first half. I know. How uh, boring, but never mind. Maybe we'll do we'll do better. Um, we've retained a lot of possessions in the central areas. Lost a lot of possession in the central areas. Uh, okay, well that's a little bit. We sort of cancelled each other out. Yeah, so no one's particularly playing well. No one's playing well, and no one's playing badly. Um, what shall I even say? I don't want to say, I don't really want to go out and say, just give them a load of rubbish. I just basically want to say, just go out and play play football. Because there's not really too much else to say, to be fair. I uh, would have liked Lacazette maybe to get a, few, get a chance or two. But perhaps that's Lopez not, not doing his part as well. But, anyway. I think about making some subs, but we'll wait and see how the game is going. Oh, David Luiz is injured. Oh, you, you put the ball out there. <laughs> You put the ball out there when we had a really good attacking opportunity. I know it's he's injured, but I'm sorry, but if that had been um, if that had been me in that situation, I'd have carried on attacking. I'm not gonna lie. 
Unless the ref. Well, the ref could stop the game, couldn't he? So. Anyway, where are we up to? 51st minute. So I'm going to start thinking about some subs. I'm definitely going to bring Chaka off because he's already booked. And Well, real life has shown how he... Or how well or not well he he deals with being on the yellow card. It's usually... Although he is susceptible as well to getting a straight red. Oh, that was late. Class and actually could have been sent off for that. And... I might need to change some stuff up. I'm going to go attacking. I'm fed up at sitting back. Let's make a change as well. Let's bring... Uh, oh. So, yeah, to bring Cochrane on. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Get him in there doing some robust tackling. I think David Luiz's was purely by coincidence. And they've brought uh, Batashoy on. Bash, bash, Bashoy? I don't know. Whoever you want to pronounce it, Maratta's off, so that's good for us. Ooh, okay. Well, Lacazette's injured. Uh, we will bring Mr. Well, well back on. I don't think it's anything major, just a knock. Well, Bruce Dye said, so that's a couple of days max, hopefully. Let's see what Danny can do. Not that we've had anything yet. Oh, Cockland's booked. <laughs> God, does not surprise me in the slightest. Lopez not really done anything all game, but he's only 19 years old, so I'm going to... You let him off for oh, That's a lovely ball. You're going to let him off for a bit, aren't you, to start off with? Oh, should have scored. Lovely cross in, though, by Sanchez there. Time for another sub. Oh, he made two. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Oh, yeah, you're allowed loads of subs. God damn it, I forgot about that. Um, all right, let's bring Walker on for a Wobi. Hector Bellerin, come off for Chambers. We'll go with that for now. See, my mind is so used to just having the three subs. Oh, Walcott's injured already. Oh, he just brought you on. Seven minutes of injury time. I could understand if the... Oh, I don't know. I could understand if the game had actually warranted it. I mean, other than, what, the injury that David Luiz suffered, that was it. Oh, Welbeck's through. It's a tight angle from there, though. Lopez, Alexis. Oh, Alexis again! Yeah. Well, best chance of the game in the 95th minute. Uh, it's probably going penalties now, isn't it? I would have thought. Yes, it is. Oh, God. I don't have any really good penalty takers. I'm just going to go with the list of how it is. And do I have to? I don't have to choose penalty takers, do I? Do I? I mean, I'm only going to put it in order of penalties anyway, so... Here we go, it says... Oof. Only just. Lose on penalties is always is always a bit harsh. Winning on penalties is always a bit lucky, so... Go on there, Lopez. Yes. Very good. Oh, yeah, I forgot, because they have this new format now as well, which... Um, I haven't really been aware of. There we go. Two apiece. Chelsea again. I've got another one. Uh, slotted it away. Easy as anything. And now we've got R2. Go on, Ramsey. Put it away. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Don't know if that was cheeky or intended. Theo then. Saved. Ugh. Right, well, Chelsea have got there too. If they score their two, they've won, I think. But check saved his. Go on, Aspiliqueta. Go on, Dave. Miss this one. Oh, darn it. Right. Okay. I don't know whose turn it is now. Someone who's not particularly good at penalties, no doubt. Oh, it does. <laughs> this is going to come out to bite me, but I expect Danny to score this one. It's never good to have expectation on virtual players. Never, never turns out quite as you expect. Oh, it's saved. Okay, well, Chelsea win the Community Shield on penalties. With their little 
booth with the six players and the manager looking all happy and... Oh well, never mind. It's one of them. It was going to be... It was going to be harsh to win or it was going to be harsh to lose on a penalty shootout, so... Uh, what do I say? It doesn't really matter, does it? I didn't think they... I thought the team actually played quite well for the first game. First pre-season game. Or the first game of the season, I guess you'd call it, really. So, yeah, one of them. Disappointing, but it's not really going to hurt me in the long run, I don't think. Only a minor injury. And... Oh, Walcott's hardly out for it. <clears throat> Any time either. Yeah, it, it could have been worse. I didn't realise Harry Kuehl was managing Crawley. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, see, that was a thing. No, no player for either team played badly. No, no player played particularly well, apart from Sanchez. Probably, Sanchez probably should have, should have scored in regular time. To be fair, so just how it goes. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else really to do in this. I think we'll probably, because we've had the game, I'll probably just play up to the the Watford game and we'll just have a look at some of the bits that I was potentially looking at. I've decided to scout a couple of more, couple, couple more players, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully, someone will come with a bid for Mesut. That'd be quite nice. Although, from picking my team, I've realised actually we're a little bit... Short in some aspects, but I think that's probably because of all the injuries that we've got currently. Because obviously we've got Giroud and Walcott. Everybody's injured. Nip, not interested. Not really interested. Don't need a goalkeeper. So one of you guys who commented on my video said they signed a guy called Malcolm. I'm actually going to have a look at him. No, oh, Thomas Lamar's not really... Not really looking all that good. Malcolm. I'm guessing he's Brazilian. I'm presuming he's Brazilian anyway. He, in, he is. Plays for Bordeaux. Goodness. Right, okay. Good amount of technique. Mm, I'm just not massively convinced. Hmm. No, that wouldn't be someone I'd, I'd buy actually, considering everything. I need this deal to go through for delete, delete, whatever he's called. Um, I was looking at players with high work rate and uh, really good long shots. Not really, just because it just seemed like a fun thing to to look at. But I mean, trying to actually decide what I need is rather difficult. I mean, obviously, I could do with a, a right back. What do I want here? So I've got work rate. I want flair. I want some flair. Although flair and work rate don't usually go together. Let's bring that down a little bit. Quincy Proms. I've seen him come up quite a lot. Mbolo. Obviously, a favourite of this type of game. Oh, it's uh, Zivkovic. No, it's not. Oh, it is. It's Iwazikovic. Not the Dutch one. I was thinking. I thought he was Dutch. So, Tommy Valena. I've signed him a few times in different football manager games. He's not been given the greatest of reviews there by my scouts. It must be said. And everyone else is, well, as soon as we start going down, is looking a bit cheap. As in, they can't be that good because the money's not, not there. Junior Saronzo, he looks, looks okay. Well, we'll have to be, do some more scouring on him, but he looks okay. Uh, some guy called Patrick, I bet he's, he's good because he's Brazilian. Um, I'm actually going to scout this guy. Probably no point in doing so, but yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's annoying. I'm actually in the middle of a takeover. Great. That deal should have been done. That deal should have been done and dusted. 
and now I'm a bit annoyed by this. So first game is against Watford at home, which hopefully will be a nice, nice game to get us started on. But I'm not going to be playing that in this episode. Just wanted to just go through different bits and see where we're at, what we're doing. So I might just lower the, might lower the asking price for Urzel. Thirty-seven. That seems fair. Okay, so Lamar's finished scouting. He oh, they don't want to sell him anyway. Or well, at least not. Not rated as high as I thought he would be. See, Bayern, Bayern Munich are interested in him. So I was hoping I'd be able to get some sort of swap deal, but there's no one really that I want. A lot of their players are quite old. Um, I'm not going to answer who's going to win the title. Yeah, I love Marco Silva. He's great. Uh, Sanchez is crucial. Very crucial to the team. Right, let's check. Where's my shortlist? Here we go. So these are, I'm just showing you now, these are players I've scouted. Um, Iron Robin was a potential swap for Ozil, which they were really not interested in doing. I know, shock horror. I uh, looked at Coric, obviously. I signed him before, Coric or whatever he's called. Uh, I'm going to try and sign Delit again because, you know, I do want to sign him and he is probably one of the most promising defenders in the game. Uh, Dolberg. I we we had a deal thrashed out and um it never actually went to fruition. Once again, young talent but someone I can, you know, ease in and if he starts getting like a good run of games, then you know, he'll make himself a key part of the team. Mario Riccardi is still potentially or Mario Riccardi, sorry, is still potentially on the um I used to say Mario as a as a joke before. Potentially part of the plans is just if I mean if he can force himself on the transfer list then there's potential there for us to sign him you know like he did like he did last season they didn't want Ozil because no one wants Ozil apparently as a swap anyway so I was quite of, kind of hoping we'd get that but the thing is if I buy a Cardi then Probably Giroud, Welbeck, Walcott. One of them has to go, for sure. Um, but there's not too much to say. Jack Walsh is back in a full training. I need to make him available for the under-23s, actually, if that's the case. Uh, make available for under-23s. 45 minutes we'll go for. Don't want, him, don't want him back and then straight injured again. That would be pointless. Especially seeing as, oh yeah, I've not shown you this actually. Uh, I've offered him a new deal, and I've also made him the captain as well. <laughs> so this is one thing I haven't shown you as well. So we're doing a briefing as to, so this is like before the match. It's a bit of a like pre, a pre-day, pre-game team talk that we can do. So just to talk about different things. To make sure you so sort of like fine tune your instructions for the particular game that you might want to you know do. So one of the things that I am quite if I'm going to play Lacazette in the team, which I believe I, oh, I'm going to play Welbeck up front or someone like that, is I want to make sure that our where's our crossing, yeah, that we're um, we're doing low crosses in and. I want to exploit and work the ball in. So just things like that. But this, you know, these are like normal instructions that we'd like to do. Big changes to squad. I want to shake things up after the losing our last match. Uh, I want to put together now that the challenge is missing from the squad. Well, it was always missing from the squad anyway. And that's not really anything new. Uh, in terms of who is, you know, potentially dangerous, you pretty much just. The only guy I'm really scared of is Andre Gray, to be fair. So, you know, I'm happy with, with just that. I feel like we've we've got the um, ability to do do better. So if we're losing any time by 1-0 um, in the second half, we are going to go, maybe not, yeah, we're going to go overload, I reckon. 
So that's pretty cool. Different scenarios, different things happen automatically. That's that's quite nice. Big fan of that actually. That's quite quite cool. So oh do I have to what do I have to do with this? Go back. Right, I am a bit confused. So what do I what do I press now? Continue? Hmm, maybe. I don't really know. We're gonna we're gonna assume that that saved and in is working. Uh, I can't. My bone, my every fibre in my body won't let me pay more than forty million for a cardi. Unless, like, I knew it was forty-five. You're definitely gonna get him. God, look how good uh, Cliver is. Hmm, well, that's interesting. So. He can play anywhere across the front three. And he's got an absolute massive potential. Um, where are we looking at here? He's not good at heading. Lack of strength and fitness. <laughs> That's not great. Uh, he's a good dribbler. And he's got a good potential there. Let's have a look at his, at his stats, see if I like I like some stuff. 14 technique. Always look for players with good technique. Only 9 finishing though, so not the best finisher. Not a huge amount of pace. 13 is a decent amount of pace, but nothing special. God, he's cost a lot of money as well. 5.5 mil. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Justin Clive. I, I would like to sign a young striker. He's on the. We'll put him on the maybe list. Actually, in fact, no, I'm going to make an offer for him. I'll make an offer of 5.5 five million. I think that's okay. Up towards the higher end is probably a little bit too much. Anyway, you've heard me ramble on far too long as we've been playing that. So for the next few episodes, up until probably until the end of the transfer window, we'll do it a little bit more informal like this, just so we can experience the the transfer window. And mainly because I'm really struggling with the transfer window at the minute, so you know, one of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go back and listen through to it to make sure it's okay and there's no issues, but yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.